ZWO ASI 2600 MC Duo. That's the name of the new camera from ZWO. And it has two sensors on the camera. I'm on ZWO's website. They've finally put some information on their website which we can look at. You can see the two sensors there. Interestingly, the guide sensor is a mono sensor. It's the ASI 220mm sensor which has been installed. So it's in the same focal plane as the imaging sensor which is an IMX 571. Although the two sensors look to be in the same focal plane, the guide sensor actually has a focuser which is what this little knob is on the side of the camera itself. The idea is that you get your main camera sensor in focus and then you focus the guide camera using this little knob on the side and in that way it becomes a parfocal uh, device so that when you refocus your main telescope it affects both sensors equally. I had a look through the connections on the back of the camera. There's going to be one USB which is for connecting to your computer and then the usual USB hub as well. So both cameras will appear on one USB cable so you'll have less cable management to do. And also I'm thinking about how this would work in the drivers. So when you're selecting your guide camera I'm assuming that it will appear as two separate cameras although I'm kind of guessing at that because there's no information about how it will appear in say Nina or astrophotography tool. The IMX571 sensor is an APS-C size sensor and the guide sensor is going to be outside of that and they do say on the website that the stars in the corner of the guide images affected by the reducer's back focus distance might not be very round so they're expecting that the actual stars you see on the guide camera will not be pinpoint. They could be elongated slightly. But they say that under normal conditions, this is not a problem. Um, and they've made that clear on their website on that sentence just there. On ZWO's website, we've got some good specifications. Most of these are kind of the normal specifications for those particular two camera sensors. Uh, so it's kind of stuff we've seen before. But interestingly, uh, the prices are shown here, so these are in US dollars, I believe. So it would be $2,000, and at the moment they're doing it with a sensor tilt plate as well, so you would get a sensor tilt plate with that. Now I originally thought that this was the tilt plate, but it looks as if, if you go further down in the pictures, you can actually see they've got a tilt plate shown there, and this one's interesting because it comes with a rear adjustment so you don't have to remove your camera in order to adjust the tilt on the actual camera itself. Something else which I also found, ZWO have produced a YouTube video showing all of their new products. And I won't play this because obviously it's their copyright and I don't want to infringe anything. But they do say that they have tested the new camera with a seven nanometer dual band filter. So that would include the L Extreme. So that's quite narrow at seven nanometers. Um, but interestingly, they did kind of say after that in good sky conditions. So they didn't find that putting a seven nanometer dual band filter in front of both sensors with good sky conditions would affect guiding at all. So they, they basically said that it wouldn't affect guiding. This video also goes into a lot more detail about the other products as well that they've released. The new mount, the AM3, and the new telescopes which have been released. They didn't mention the fully automated telescope, the Sea Star, and they didn't mention the rotator in this video. All in all, this is a really exciting announcement and it's really interesting to see a camera with two sensors.